hello great youtubers welcome back in this video i will share with you how to practically set up and program s7300 plc in tia porter no simulation this time because we'll be dealing with the real plc let's get started Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you will always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so we'll look at the items quickly. We will need a rack and this will form the backbone of the PLC unit because this is a modular PLC type. Okay, we have the CPU. This is the model number of the CPU. And then we have the interface with the LEDs for indication and the model type is CPU314 we have the number also here and then we have the connecting ports for programming and then the power supply that's labeled X20 okay we need the U connector to connect the models together so we need to connect this U connector at the right end of the CPU so that we'll be able to connect the signal models to it okay so I mount it on the rack position it correctly and then this is the digital input model it's a 16 bit digital input and this is the path number great I position it close to the CPU and then push it into position and this is how the complete arrangement looks like unfortunately I don't have an output unit so I now have to screw them into position to secure them correctly okay everything set now this is where we'll connect our power supply 24 volts and now this is the memory card of the CPU and you need this other than that the CPU will not run okay I slot it back and now open this part and then connect the power supply red for positive 24 volts and then the ground is the black cable connection done and this is the complete setup okay we now open the TI portal and double click on the icon and now click on the create new project I need to give it a project name s7 underscore 300 underscore test and then click on create and I need to click on the right PLC program and now select the CPU remember this is the CPU type CPU 314 so I move in and then from the catalog I select the 300 station I move into CPU and then select CPU 314 this is the model number and need to compare it to the hardware and this is how the hardware number looks like okay this is the version number which is 23.3 .3. So I move on and select the version number from the software as well. Click OK. And now double click on the block. Okay. So when you click on the device configuration, you have the hardware configuration interface. This is the general side of it and where you can change the properties of the CPU. I click on the clock memory and then set the, the clock memory to be read into memory byte 2. And this is all I need to set for here now and now bring in the digital input I specify the sorry the part number and it's the same I drag it into position and this is the property window I can check the property of this particular card right from here okay I move on to the IOS and this is where you can set your stats and end address which is 0 and 1 and then I will leave it as such okay this is the programming adapter is the a2 type 
and this is the connecting part so I open this section of the PLC and connect it to the programming port I screw it into position to secure it okay so we're all done now let's move on and download the hardware configuration so I click on download and this is the interface to download okay so I move on and select MPI because we are using the MPI adapter and then specify the type of adapter is the PC adapter USB A2 I click on search to look for the PLC on the network you need to wait for some time it will take a bit of time okay we can see that the PLC has been is been identified so I click on this flash to confirm that and you can see the PLC flashing indicating that the address is correct and now click on the load to load the hardware into the PLC okay and remember anytime you load the hardware the PLC will move into stop mode so if I click on the load we can see the PLC has moved into stop mode and now it's prompting us whether we should start after downloading and then I say ok and click on finish ok we can see the PLC starting PLC started now let's move on and write a simple program so I double click on the main OB1 and then bring in a normally open contact and then assign M 2.5 to it which is the one of the memory bits and then assign 3.0 to it so the clock will be flashing and then we will see how it's flashing I click on download and then click on yes to start the download okay downloading done and this is one form to do it another form is to move on to the PLC unit right click and then move to download and then we have various types we have hardware and software download changes only hardware configuration software changes only and then software all so we use the software all for this example okay and then I change this into stop all before it allows me to click on the download okay and we can see that immediately the download is done the PLC moves into stop mode these forms of download will always stop the PLC and now it's starting up after clicking on the finish now I can move online and see whether the PLC program is being executed I click on the Google and then you can see that the PLC is working just fine we have a blinking signal in memory bit 2.5 okay we move on and add a bit of logic and this time we will download only changes so that the PLC does not move into stop mode I assign M2.7 and then I move to this section assign an output and then assign 3.1 to it and you can see that 2.7 will flash a bit slower than 2.5 ok good I click on the download I click on yes to start the download and we can see that this time the download is completed no errors no warning but the PLC did not move into stop mode I will now move on online and then put on Google to monitor and we can see the flashing going on and then 2.5 is flashing faster than 2.7 working perfectly viewers thank you for watching Please consider giving this video a thumbs up whenever you hit on the like button you help grow this channel see you in the next tutorial bye bye